hello guys welcome back and this is spot four of how to add comment to wix dynamic pages how to add a comment section to wix dynamic pages and let's go okay so the first thing we want to do is check sorry the first thing we want to do is check if the user is logged in or not so I'm gonna copy the code and I'm gonna be posting a link to this in the description so I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna copy this function and I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna explain what it does okay so this function and this this is a function and this is the title of the function so what this does is function comment not logged in function comment not logged in so once the once the user is not logged in the box one which is this box is gonna collapse and this box is gonna expand and then this text box is gonna disable and then this add comment button is also gonna disable because you don't want the user who's not logged in to comment to leave a comment on the stuff and then comment normal you do box one collapse with this is, yeah no way sorry box two oh wait sorry okay box one is gonna expand sorry this is the wrong thing expand and then box 2 is gonna collapse which is this box right here and so we're gonna actually make that work by adding this code and the on ready function so we're gonna go to the on the on ready function and then we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it right here and so if if Wix users if Wix user duck wait what's happening if okay if Wix users dot current user dot logged in this is gonna happen else this is gonna happen which is this fun which is these functions so because we are logged in if I preview this is gonna collapse and this is gonna expand and to show you that this is gonna disable this is gonna enable sorry and to show you that I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna expand it I don't want it collapse on load so it's gonna shrink by itself and I'm gonna disable this button and actually show you that because I'm logged in this button is gonna enable and this is gonna collapse I'm gonna preview the page and if you could see this collapsed and this enabled you see this collapse and this enabled because I'm logged in that's how to tell if a user is logged in or not so Next, okay, I wanna disable this. I'm gonna leave this matter, but I just wanna, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna leave it like this. But this, for sure, I wanna enable. I don't know, this is just, yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna filter the data set according to what dynamic page the comment was put in. And to do that, we're gonna copy, like, the funk day code to get the ID of the page. I think I already did that. And look at it right here. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna put it, no, not here. I'm gonna create a function, function, and I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna name it, um, filter comments, and I'm gonna, then I'm gonna paste that code. So I'm gonna do let page equals to page ID page ID uh, get the page ID so then I'm gonna 
filter the data set I'm gonna paste the code I already copied right here I'm gonna paste it right here so now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do data set one the set filter Wix filter that contain page ID which is the collection key in the data set if it contains the collection key in the data set and now we're not gonna do this the value we're gonna do it page ID the then there's not gonna be then for it right now so I'm just gonna empty that so now it's gonna filter the comments on the dynamic page it's on so and then I'm gonna do data set one the already when the data set is ready we're gonna filter comments which is the code right here which is the function it's gonna then filter the data set so to test that out we're gonna do this we're gonna preview and it's gonna show like zero comments yeah it's gonna show yeah zero comments because there's no comments under that there's no comment like with the ID of this page on the collection and it proved that I'm gonna go back to the editor I'm gonna go to this data set collection and there should be only two so as you can see this is empty there's no page ID so it's gonna be zero because it filters those who has the page ID which is zero not right now so now I'm gonna preview again and add a comment and switch pages so now zero comments I'm gonna leave a comment this should be on the dynamic page titled so now I'm gonna see this is the title of this food special edition I'm gonna paste that titled food special edition I'm gonna add the comment so now this should be on this page food special edition one comment so now I'm gonna switch pages I'm gonna go to I need a bank account that's a music so now when I go to this page you notice it should be zero comments zero comment because there's no comment on this page either so now I'm gonna say this comment should be on the dynamic page titled this I need a bank account Sorry, I need it. Right, I'm gonna copy it and paste it. Then I'm gonna add a comment. Now, look, it added a comment. So now it has only one comment on this page. If I go to the other page, Food Special Edition, it's gonna have the other comment I posted on this page. Now, if you notice, it should have only one comment which I posted on this page food special edition and we are basically done with the basics of adding the comments to the dynamic page next up we're gonna add other features in part 5 other than that goodbye for now and make sure to hit that subscribe button to support this channel I'll see you guys next time La -la -la.